Pro-Q2 from FabFilter is the follow-up to one of the most popular equaliser plugins ever, and it crams even more features into an already very powerful effect. In this computer music hands-on session, we're going to check out five of Pro-Q2's coolest new capabilities. There's a lot more to it, of course, including the analog-like natural phase mode, optional gain cue interaction, and auto gain. For the full list of features, check out FabFilter's site at www.fabfilter.com and to find out how we rate Pro-Q2, don't miss the computer music review coming in CM211. For those unfamiliar with ProQ, here's how it works. To add an EQ band, simply double-click the analyzer display or drag the yellow line. The band can then be adjusted by dragging it around or using the more traditional knobs at the bottom of the interface. Only one band's parameters can be viewed at a time in this manner, but it's possible to edit multiple EQ bands at once by selecting and dragging them. You can also use the band controls to edit them simultaneously. Each band can be set to one of eight types, with slopes ranging from 12 to 96 dB. There are menus at the top for standard plugin functions like undo redo, AB comparison, preset selection, and the built in help system. At the bottom you'll find options to do with MIDI, the EQ's phase modes, channel modes such as left-right stereo and mid-side, and options for the built-in spectrum analyzer. One of the most innovative of ProQ2's new abilities is Spectrum Grab, which gives the user a very hands-on approach to sound processing. So, if you see an unwanted peak or trough in the spectrum analyzer, you can simply grab it and adjust it as you see fit. This breakbeat sample has got a great character, but the sharp peaks in the highs where the tambourine sound is located are very severe and make it hard to fit the sound into a mix without turning it down a fair bit. Let's use Spectrum Grab to fix this, and while we're at it, we'll try out FabFilter Pro Q2's new full screen mode. Hover the cursor over the analyzer for a few seconds, and Pro Q2 automatically enters Spectrum Grab mode. We move the cursor over the peaks we want to adjust and drag them down to the desired level. As ProQ2's analyzer shows the pre and post EQ levels, we can see the original signal in dark grey with the process signal in slightly lighter grey. Spectrum Grab automatically creates bell EQ curves, allowing you to tweak the changes you've made after the fact. When working with musical material, ProQ2's new piano display makes it easy to locate and adjust specific pitches. Let's use it to adjust the level of the fundamental frequency in this big bassy sound. To activate the piano display, simply click the piano icon at the bottom left hand corner of the interface. Double click on the spectrum analyzer to create a new band. You'll see that a dot appears on the piano display, representing the band's pitch. Dragging this dot snaps the band onto a particular key. If we turn the band's cue up to a maximum, we can more easily identify the sound's fundamental frequency. Now we can use the band's gain to attenuate or boost the harmonic by just the right amount. FabFilter Pro-Q2 now features slopes of up to 96 dB for all filter types, twice as steep as the 48 dB filters in Pro-Q1. As well as being useful for general mixing duties, using steep slopes like this with the notch and bandpass types can result in dramatic effects, making Pro-Q2 a powerful sound design tool too. Sweeping these sounds great, so automation is no problem.
tilt shelf is Pro-Q2's new filter shape, which boosts one end of the spectrum while attenuating the other. This makes it great for making broad tonal adjustments. With high IQ levels, the effect is more dramatic, making it suitable for sound design. The last of ProQ2's new features we're going to look at is the EQ match function, which allows us to adjust the tonal characteristic of one sound to match another. Unlike other matching EQs, this is achieved by routing reference audio via the plugin sidechain input, making the process quick and easy to perform. For example, we're going to take a vintage sounding funk beat and apply its tonal characteristic to this glossy pumping house beat. This will create a vintage lo-fi sounding version of our house beat. We start by putting Pro Q2 on the audio track we want to affect, then we route the reference track to the plugin sidechain input. Next we bring up the plugin's analyzer section. Click the SC button and you'll see the sidechain input overlaid on the spectral analyzer, a useful analytical feature in its own right. For instance, it allows you to compare two signals and detect where clashing frequencies occur. Click the match EQ button and play the project back. Pro-Q2 will analyze the input of both channels and generate a curve that imitates the frequency content of the sidechain input. You can adjust the number of EQ bands used with this slider. When you're done, click Finish. You can use Pro-Q2 gain scaling to control the intensity of the effect. As well as creative uses, EQ Match can be used in any situation where you need to match sounds more closely. For instance, when you want to replicate the feel of a stem you've been provided with, or help one part fit into the same sonic space as another. That's all for now, but if you'd like to try out FabFilter Pro Q2 for yourself, check out the trial version which can be downloaded from www.fabfilter.com. Make sure you check out the forthcoming review in CM211. Download over 30 exclusive plugins. Get hundreds of pro quality samples and power up your production skills with in-depth tutorials. We break it down for you step by step, and you'll see exactly how it's done in expert video guides and producer masterclass sessions with pro producers. Get all this and more with Computer Music Magazine every month on iPad and iPhone, PC and Mac, Android, and in print.